Bro, that's the devil, bro. You gotta keep that shit away from me at all times. Hookah. Hookah? I don't even smoke hookah. Bro, I'm like addicted. I Once I heard this, it. it was like cigarettes, bro. To hookah? Bro, I'm he from wild. Toronto, bro. Yeah, he Where? You from Toronto? <laughs> yes, it's like a part of our fucking culture. Sort of, uh. You, you always live in Canada? Uh, no, nah, I lived in. I've been, mean, yeah, I've been in Toronto my whole life, but I went to school in DC for uh, yeah. three years. I went to high school in DC for like prep school. But that's where I'm oh. from. I'm from downtown, south side of Toronto. Shit. People always ask you, do you know Drake? <laughs> Some dumb shit like that. Yeah. Air <laughs> Canada. I said we can start though. All right, but oh y'all saying no headphones? Yeah. Ah, they trying to get so the little drip off. Okay. Nah, I look even at my earrings. Tight. It's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> Damn. So I'm finna just. Do I gotta come no headphones then? You might as well, bro. So I gotta come no headphones. Yeah. Just doing the way. Yeah. <laughs> we all gonna come no headphones. Come original. You feel me? Show off my drip. Stay rebel. So where are you from? Cause I know you from like Michigan, but yeah, I'm, I don't stay in Detroit no more. Okay. I'm Macomb. But I grew up uh, west side, six miles this side. Jeez. So, but I know I, everybody down there though. I'm about to say, yeah. don't you be hooping with yeah, everybody? I know everybody down there. I'll be okay. down there all summer though. So what made y'all come tomorrow? Or how did y'all meet? I know it's got to be at well, we met. I know it's a crazy story. No, we met. Uh, it was like before. like It was like right when I committed. Yeah. We met before because uh, our coach, Clay. Yeah. He's cool as, uh, he, um, he from Detroit. So. Yeah, he's from Detroit. He had coach up here? Yeah. Oh, so y'all yeah. plug. Our head coach yeah. and our assistant. Yeah. So he had hit me and he was like, oh, we got, oh, we got a dude your age coming in, da, 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 whatever. And he had sent me his IG. And then me and him kind of connected. And then we were actually supposed to room together. For real? Sophomore year, yeah. But it didn't end up happening. What, what year was that? 2019? Your sophomore year? My or sophomore. 2018? My sophomore year, your so freshman my year. My freshman year, 2019. Yeah. yeah, 2019. 2019? 2019, yeah. yeah. Um, and y'all just clicked ever yeah. since? Yeah, because we, we figured out that we was, like, similar. You can cuss? Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. 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 Had to make sure. Make sure. Had to make sure. Never know. Every, I've been on a couple podcasts where they was like, Try. No, we just be talking with everyone here. Okay, you cool. feel me? No, nah, yeah, so um, we just clicked and shit, and then uh, we kind of came to the realization that, like, we was more alike than we thought. And then we just been locked in ever since. But no, nah, it was definitely Coach Clay. Yeah. Shout out Coach Clay. Nah, sure. Bringing the... Uh, Dynamic duo up here. Oh, Big yeah. play clay. <laughs> so when y'all start hooping, like when y'all first pick up the ball? Like, I, I probably start hooping, like, my dad put a ball in my hands at the young age, like three. But when I moved three to the burbs, yeah. I stopped hooping. So from like, I want to say like six, like end of fifth grade, all the way to like seventh grade, I wasn't hooping for real. I That's two hooping. years. Yeah, I started hooping for real again to like eighth grade, middle school. All the girls like the hoopers, so I said, fuck it. <laughs> he started hooping for the, for the girls. My, back in middle school, everybody, the hoopers was where it's at. What about you? Um, my pops. My pops played in the league, and then he played overseas. So, damn near. I got a baby picture of, like, shit, two weeks. That's some funny shit with the fucking a little basketball on my hand. So, yeah. I can't, I can't even remember. I, I literally lived in the gym with him, like. He had some shit going on. He was a trainer after. He was a pro trainer. He worked with the Raptors. He worked with um, a bunch of people overseas, some big players, da da da, whatever. So whenever we was around them, I was I was hooping. Like I got VHS videos at two, trying to shoot on the main rim. So he was destined to be a hooper. Uh, for real, like, but it's funny because they was kind of turned. Now I'm good. I'm a great basketball player and whatnot, but that's not really my main focus. But my whole life, that was like all I knew. So you know what you think your main focus now? Um, <laughs> it's not even it's, basketball is my main focus. However, I just realized that there's other things that like, your life shouldn't just be just yeah, basketball. Exactly, yeah. and especially since like I just have a lot of other stuff going on, like business wise, right. and investments and stuff like that that like actually works, and I realized it worked. You know I mean, uh -huh. so I feel like that was kind of what sparked my realization to there's more. Basketball. Yeah, but basketball paved the way, though, for real, because it put me in 
cities and places that I would have never been in. So, like, the other parts of my life expanded because of basketball, to be honest. So, yeah. It put you at more else. Not for real, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, when you a hooper, you really got to, like, dedicate your whole life and time to hooping. Because I just stopped hooping. I was just hooping in college at Adrian College last semester. So I just stopped hooping and, like, you feel me, got on this. Just because, like, I gave that all my life, you feel me. So it was like, just needed a little break. But, no, I still get, I get in that bag. I be hooping with the same dude you was hooping with. I'm even with everybody. You be an archer? No, I don't be going in there because last time I went there, I waited like an hour, played like three games. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it was yeah, bad yeah. calm dudes complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hit or miss with archer. After the season, I'm talking after the back season, in the city. After the season, you come up in Forbes with us. Yeah. Not in archer. <laughs> in the main, main zone. So, what more house fans going to get from y'all this year? A show. A show. Every game. They tried to put on a show at uh, the little Midnight Madness. Oh, yeah. You was there? Yeah, I was there because I remember I took the video. You tried to throw it from the uh, bleachers. I'm it's like, it's dog. It's it's yeah, story. I want to hear the story. Did y'all story. practice that or no? No, we, we okay. literally did that. I knew it. And literally, it's after practice. Like, the day before the Midnight Madness, we have to practice. I'm thinking, I'm like, I had three days. Shit. I'm like, damn, what if we have, What if we go to, like, the final round? Like <laughs> For so real. thought about it. He's like, I'm going to just throw it from the top. I'm like. All right, Ben, we tried it, like, I think, like, three times, and, like, he bounced it perfect. I just jumped up and caught it. I said, all right, Ben. Yeah, he didn't even dunk it. So, I like, when, when we – Are you just, like, I'm there. Because so he good. had – he was already working on – man, he had did – he was dunking for, like, 30 minutes before then. So, I had thrown it to him a couple of times, got it right twice in a row, and he was like, yeah, 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 that's good. And I was like, are you sure? He was like, yeah. I was like, all right. And then, Y'all had everybody turned, though. Like, everybody was on their feet waiting for that. One of them was good, and you folded. Let's not yeah, forget yeah, about I, that. I fumbled one. When you, I fumbled one because it was like, I thought it was going to be too far, but then when I got close, I said, damn, I should have done that. Yeah. No, I got it on video, the windmill one. No, you no, almost, I wasn't supposed to windmill it either. The last one he windmilled because it was th- it was too, too low. Side, That's the only reason I windmilled it. Oh, so I you was trying to come like a little cockback. back. Was just you was just supposed to, like, take off and get mad mad high up there and just I'll just cut because, like, the time ran out. I was like, I caught it. I was like, too low, so. I mean, you jumped over bro, though. When you jumped over bro, that got everybody turned. Yeah, yeah. But then at the game, it was a little, a little dry. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. The game it was, was, it was, it was really. Just and you know, you know, it's funny. Yeah. I mean, but but that's literally why me and him and and a couple other man guys on our team are gonna have to kind of like really hoop this year and put on a show every game. Cause when it comes to our Morehouse fans, and I hate to do it to them, but I mean, they they rock they rock with us when everything's good. Good, and they don't support yeah. for real. No. You feel me? And, I, and we love Morehouse to death, but I think it's just it's just a trend with HBCU athletics. You feel me? So if we're if we're ranked top five in the nation, me and him, the leading scorers, putting up X, Y, and Z, whole they team's hoping we're winning, they're going to come. Same thing as when T-Walk was there. I don't know if you know who T-Walk is. He's a legend at Morehouse. That's big bro for real. He went to the league. From, from Morehouse? Yeah. Shit. So he, uh, <laughs> and he's only a few years older than us, and that's really like the homie for us, really my bro. When he was doing his thing, averaging like 30-something a game, and it was winning. It was like one game, and he had like 40. 40, 40 something. Some more houses were jumping. 40 on Clark. It was like 46. Yeah, on Clark, yeah. And at Clark. Clark. At Clark. Did Clark win? No. no. Uh, <laughs> Clark going out sad. Oh, but like, my God. But like when, he, when they was on that wave, that just goes to show, like, they had the stands packed like Midnight Madness, like, like yeah, World Madness, game. every single game. Who is winning Morehouse versus Clark? Morehouse. I don't think that's a question. Clark Morehouse. said they coming for next. Yeah, that's, that's it sounds good. Sound good. I don't have nothing to say, bro. Nah, yeah, we play twice every single year. Once there, once at our home. I think we play at Clark first, though. Yeah. My man's play for Clark. Which one? Ooh. Ron. He just transferred. Uh, I mean, I know, we got to see him. I, I, I got to see him. I just know he be up him. at Archer dropping 30. That doesn't mean anything. But no offense to him. I mean, shit, I don't know he, who he, he is. I'm sure he's going to I don't know. Yeah, but, I don't know, bro. So I ain't going to say. But what I am going to say is, way, so. what I'm going to say is they got one dude, and I mean, that's going to get shut down when we play, but I will give him his credit. He just had. Sheesh. He just had. What he had? 40. Yeah, he just had a 40 ball. 40? Shout out to Justin. Shout Justin, out to Justin, Justin Longstreet. Then we know who you are. We see you. I mean, I saw that. That's he did tough. his thing. We gotta give him his credit. I mean, we ain't, we not those type of dudes. If you do your thing, we gonna we gonna definitely. I ain't no show hater, love. bro. So okay. he he definitely did just have a forty ball, and we definitely are taking note of that. But that's just not going with us. So <laughs> who taking him? 
Cause he got forty. Oh, we we got a lockdown blood. defender. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, I mean shit. And it's his homie. It's his homie. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's his homie. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, we gonna guard him. That's his homie. Yeah, There's gonna be very few people Lock getting in. off against us. To be honest, I don't think anybody this year gonna have more than like twenty five on us. To be honest. Hey. Like a player, I mean. Whatever your name is, do that, Clark. Hey, you got to drop more than twenty five. He said nobody having twenty five plus on them. Yeah. Period. Nobody <laughs> having twenty five. Definitely not me. On him for sure. But I just doubt anybody on our team will let that happen, to be honest, too. The way we've been playing defense, bro. We've been having practices where we spend the whole practice playing defense, bro. Them be the worst practices. Yeah. Then you got to run. You talking about them be the worst practices? No, Imagine no. having every single day of practice. Well, you're like on that, offense, bro. though. You got to spaz yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're on offense, though, one day. But no, yeah. So do y'all got – who got the better hoop drip between y'all two? Hoop drip? Hoop drip. <laughs> like, like, the right. hoop drip. I'm going to be real. Tumbo. He got the better kicks. Kicks. <laughs> but he doesn't wear nothing. I don't wear he just wears socks. Like, I'll wear, I'll wear short shorts. I be having all the sleeves. Like, I be. I be yeah, so like, you got the hoop drip. It's like the fuck. Like, he'll, he'll wear, like, sleeves and and sometimes a headband or whatever. Like, that looks good. You feel me? Compressions. I don't do that. Straight buckets. Yeah, no, short Pat shorts Beverly. and my shoes. <laughs> my, I'm hooping in something. Yeah, yeah, he got all the Kobe's. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen you had the uh, the Grinch Kobe's on. I'm yeah. like, you just chilling in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Grinches, like P.E., Z.Y.B.L.s, Julie, Kobe's, all of them. Peach, Peach Jam Kobe's from when I played U.Y.B.L., all those. I got all the old ones. But I be scared to wear some of the old ones because they break yeah. now. So I try to get the pro trolls, like the new ones that come out. You gonna sell any of them? Nah, cause I got a couple of homies that play in the league, so they be taking care of me. I can't really with the Kobe's. I can't really get them gone, cause I'm be mad if I get them gone and then I can't get them. You're back. not getting them back. Yeah, exactly. Cause they, so. you seen that Kobe thing? They not having. They not releasing no new Kobe's. Yeah, exactly. Shout and out. That's like the best. Shout, <laughs> nah, shout out my homie Jordan. He plays for uh, Golden State. Jordan Poole. He, they be sleeping on his kid game Dead on the Poole. court. Every hey, game. Jordan Poole, you're going to get most improved player this yeah, year. For sure. I've been saying this for a minute now. That's oh, yeah. crazy. No, that's my bro, for real. Shout out my bro, Taylor, too. Coming off the injury, about to be a problem, for sure. Those are definitely the two homies. That's What's your favorite hoop shoe? Kobe's. Kobe's. So Kobe's, that's a given 30. Or Katie's. No, 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 I'm tripping. Kobe's or Kyrie's. Kyrie's is I tough. Like Ky- I like Kyrie's, but I be, pra- like, I be practicing in Kyrie's and KD's and stuff. I hoop on them, too, like open jam or like a game here and there because they're definitely comfortable. But I just got to stick with Kobe's for real. I can't do the LeBron's thing. No, never. I try. Unless we you were center. just talking about that. We have a friend. Um, she plays at FAMU. She put on her close friends. You know, FAMU's a LeBron school. I don't know if you knew that. Like, they're literally sponsored yeah. by LeBron. Not Nike, like, LeBron. Not Nike, LeBron. like LeBron. Like the LJ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she posted a pair in her story, and we were like, damn, those are hard. And, like, oh, my homie had sent me a pair, mm. and they're comfortable, but they so heavy, They too bro. bulky. They like, bulky, bro. I'm short. Sure. You want to see them yeah. big yeah, shoes on my... Uh, they're not good for guards, for yeah. sure. Yeah, them from yeah. forwards. Yeah. I'm going to stop it real quick. Get back with her man Like I was cute No, you can't mix that shit With your bare hands Might try to use How the fuck I'ma cuff you Know you fuck my mans You sound a stupid nigga And in the fig Just be rapping about the crimes I'm doing You know I can't